guys welcome back to exploring with india today you guys we have lovecraft 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 country i do believe that's what it's called season one episode one new series you guys and did i see it was a new series i think it has like five episodes so far five six so let's get into sundown episode one and of course you guys let your girl know down in the comments how you guys feel about lovecraft and we're gonna keep exploring this um tv series let's go let's see what it's all about him let's see if it excites us let's go This is the story of a boy in his dream, truly American. Was that a flying octopus? What the? Spaceships? So not only do are they going to war with humans, aliens, octopus, octopuses? <laughs> Where you going, black boy? Black boy, we're the walking committee. Ooh. Y'all know I love my spaceships. The year 1928. The time Devil is in the If you were a young man, your thoughts were undoubtedly turning to those of love. Ooh. It is an octopus with wings. Sosa? I don't know who that is. <laughs> oh, he was dreaming. Just going over another bridge named after some dead slave owner. Oh. Okay, so they're in the back of the bus. So it's, it's in that time era. Okay. Low Jesus. Okay. Okay. Folks, I have not read it in a long time. Let's get our luggage. Mm. So the color people can't get on the car. They cannot get in the car with them. They gotta walk. The Princess of Mars? Mm -hmm. It's about this man named John Carter. Goes from being a captain in the army of Northern Virginia to magical cave, which transports him to the red planet. That's when it starts to get good. Hold on. You said the hero was a Confederate officer. Try and cherish him. Overlook their flaws. Yeah, but the flaws are still there. Yeah, they are. Save the day. <laughs> Little Negro boys from the south side of Chicago don't notorious to get to do that. In part because he's also not the reason I'm coming back home. Is he sick? It's gone missing. I don't want you <laughs> to be no slave. Oh, you look at that charge ring. Boy, you waiting for her to fix your breakfast? I'm leaving tomorrow. I feel I've been spending too much time on the road and not enough time in bed with her. You know, the room is a dangerous place for a woman traveling for. Where are you going? Black party starts at noon, and those pecans in the kitchen are not going to turn themselves. Oh, they're nasty. Oh. <gasps> oh. Hey, once you hear your mama and daddy, you scarred, baby. You scarred. I have before. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to lie. I was fresh 17 years old. Fresh 17 or 18. And I was in the middle of the night, y'all. And all I heard through my walls was, I said, Mama, is that you? Mama, is that you? Low Jesus. You scarred for life, baby. You will never forget that. Oh. I <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> She's fine. She's oh. I wasn't scared. Well, I know you were. They better wash their hands. 
my, my cousin bought a smoke snare just last week. I believe it. I still have to triple check the bad tip. Ah, getting so reacquainted with old friend. Pops made me memorize that poem. Word for word after he caught me reading this. He's been missing for about two weeks. I have an idea. He wrote me about my mama. What, what, what did he say? He said he found out where her family came from. He wanted me to come home so I could go there with him. I know that like your mother, you think that you can forget the past. Now, I have found something about your mother's forebears. You have a sacred, secret legacy, a birthright. Oh, he's still learning to read. The letter says, Mom's ancestors are from Arkham. Let me see that. It's not Arkham. So that's his uncle. Okay, it's Artem with the D. That's a D. I'm gonna look into this Artem to see if I can glean any clues as to what this secret legacy. <laughs> Closing early for the block party. Listen, the guy with the earrings, I wanna he here? Sammy. He out back. Oh. Sammy? Oh, shit. Sorry. Sammy get his tool so, and I right? <laughs> Ooh. I remember plenty of nights you dragging him off one of my bar stools. When's the last time you saw him? About two weeks ago. Can't get the clothes he was wearing on a pig salary. Better was a silver sedan, something for him. So he's trying to find his daddy. I love jazz. I think I got time for one more before Slick Willie comes up with his guitar. Now what y'all want to hear? A whole lot of shaking. Is that Letitia? Ruby. It's your sister. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I have eyes. So, Ever since our church days. Sure, it's no secret that those <laughs> days are long gone. Them girls can sign, baby. need to say it. I know you only here because you need money. And don't think just because you got up and sang with me that you're getting any of these tips. Pass tips? Skinny glasses, kid? <laughs> too smart for his own good tip? Yeah, he's grown up. You think you're going to go downtown and get a job in one of those department stores? Yes, I do. You think it's that easy, yes, huh? Yes, I do. <laughs> you know I've been applying for years. Well, if I get the job, it'll be enough money for both of us you to know, move. I'm fine where I am. I'm going to need a car. That's his dad's place. Where can I direct your call? 555 five, 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 438. He went home. Do I think I'm close to? You're sure that that was creepy. Oh, look at her. You just gonna stand there, Tick? Or are you gonna help me? Lily Lewis. And you, where you been? Mm, I've been a little bit everywhere. If you want to look into that mysterious town of Ardham for us. Mattress and blankets. Check and check. First aid kit. Double check. Hey, she making sure her man is good. We got check on top of check. Anything we're forgetting? <laughs> oh, no, I, I think that's everything. It's what's <laughs> missing, because I've been waiting patiently to see what happens to Panther Man. Mm -hmm. I will see you when you get back, Pop. You will, baby. Mm. Mm. I, um, I find myself, not for the first time, the inequality suffered by the American Negro population of the United States has hindered, has to do with, um, it has to do with one's point of view, I had to put it that way, one of that question, has to depend on, an effect on where you find mm. yourself in the world. God don't like ugly. Has to be scarcely aware of them. 
You know that area be populated by on Diane's Atlas? What? A bunch of trolls who pick their teeth with unwary motors. Well, not that either of you asked my opinion, but I could use a hot meal. I'm telling you people she Baby. Man, she knocked me off the way she you know went. That's my You upset me. Lydia's? It's in the right place. Don't judge a book by its cover. We'll seat ourselves in. Uh, yes, that's what we do. Good here. Why don't we just start with some coffees? Yeah, but we're here now. Doesn't mean we have to stay. Our money spends just as good as everyone else's. People are so mean. Not only that, it's not even mean. People just hatred in their heart. But hey, you cannot change everyone. Mm. Ooh. I swear I didn't serve them. Not after what you did to Miss Lydia. Damn, what you do to Lydia? Remind me why the White House is white. Soldiers put get the out. executive branch to torch. Then later when the slaves rebuilt it, they had to paint the walls white to cover up the burn marks. Oh, come, on. Oh, come, on. come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn. You go. You went home. You shouldn't have. Cause where the hell she come from? And then Atticus. Atticus looked like it looked like he knew her. Mmm. It's real. Mind missing out of a Bradbury novel. <laughs> well, wait, what actually happened that caused the crash? They couldn't keep up. She did save the day. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Say that again one more time. Did I say it again? Late, Marvin. Why don't you tell us what you discovered about our next stop? Well, I'd heard a few tales about Devon County before, but once I started really digging in, it just kept getting stranger and stranger. No, the witch hunters. And they don't like outsiders at all. The witch hunters? Found more than a few stories in our morgue about travelers being attacked in the surrounding woods. Ex-Marine. This is this NAACP complaint file. It's only a third of it. What do you want to do? Keep on going? need to go to the registry. I saved it, Marvin. It's what I use to get the bus to root. Not all of it you did. I'm not stupid, Letitia. Fine. Hey, you lie, you Marvin. You lied to me. You need what? money because you needed to come home. Mm, I definitely know how it feels to be in a toxic household where every day your mom and dad's fighting, where every day your dad's beating your mom's ass, and you have to listen to it. Not only listen to it, but you know, sometimes I had to see it, and... I definitely know what it is, <laughs> how it feels and what it is to live in a toxic ass home, especially as a child. Of course, he's not a child. He's he's grown into a man, but I see why he went to war to get away from his damn toxic, toxic home. Yes, I know how that feels, baby. Why are you always defending him? You grew up in the same house. You came out just fine. What? He was younger. He was smaller. He took the brunt of it. Yeah. I should have protected him more. I always regret that. Not only that, but people react different. Some people can turn out and still be a nice, caring person. And then some people turn out to be just as toxic as their own parents, you know? Even though you wish you wasn't like that, and even though you hated your own parents or hated their ways for putting you through that, some people react different. Some people don't know how to take that, and it will live on with you. Mm. How did this? What are you doing? Hello, How do you uh -huh. look? What was that? A blob of hundreds of eyes. Oh, well, that's not scary oh, at all. Oh. We can outrun a blob. But well, not the cops. <laughs> Maybe. This here is my nephew, Atticus, and his friend, Letitia. Where y'all from? Chicago, sir. Any of you all know where the sundown town is? Yes, sir, we do. In my woods, like animals after dark, 
it would have been my sworn. Um, what does Sundown tell me? That you got to be inside your house by like a certain time for colored people, for black people, for African Americans. Oh Jesus, this hectic, y'all. This hectic. I know they about to come at them crucial. Ugh. Beauty to hang every single one of you from them trees. Why? To hang every single one of you from them trees. It's not sundown yet. Seven minutes from now. Then we'll be out of the county in six. Now that's impossible Ooh. heading south on the road you're currently on. Head north. Okay, so Atticus, he's not biting his tongue for no one. Atticus is not biting his tongue for no one. Let me make a U turn here. Aren't you a smart one? Now, ordinarily, I would consider a U-turn a violation. Please. Oh, you can do better than that. Say, pretty please. Ah! Pretty please, will you let this smart nigga make a U-turn here? We got two and a half kilometers to the county line. Can we From Illinois. This is a misunderstanding. I... Let me just finish the rest for you. When I ask you about a burglary in Byford last night, or two others in Bucks Mill last week, Chef Hunt, burglars or car thieves, you're more than welcome to check the car for stolen goods if you like. Atticus, he did not give you his damn name. How do you know his name, Atticus? No, oh, tell me I didn't just hear that. This one thinks he's smart. But tell me, if you're just passing through, why do you know my name? Please, please, please don't shut up, please. Wolf, Sheriff. What is it? What is it? supernatural but it's back like in the racist days so this like some supernatural sh I, what the hell just run at him no jesus but it saved atticus and, um what's her name leticia and then what's the uncle's name we're gonna call him uncle for now but i know his name what's his name gosh Ooh. it's getting gory get up up Oh God! The fucking door! The fucking his arm is cold. Oh God! There by himself. There's eyeballs everywhere. You're leading those things back here. You understand? But you gonna shoot me? Hmm. Gotta bring them things right to you. He has one. There's someone coming. No! I was talking! I thought you were right behind me. I have knocked down and stayed down till the coast was clear. Aren't you a lucky nigga? Those things got four of my men. <gasps> and all I had is this flashlight. You think those things are like vampires? If I'm right, then the light hurts them. Where's the car from here? A quarter mile through the woods behind the plane. I'll go. I am not asking. Fuck you. Yeah, I can. I can go. I can go. Now let the lady go. Little <laughs> shit. Atticus. Atticus. What happens when you get bitten by a vampire? Where you about to?
that whistle called him away? Oh! <laughs> this was a test! <laughs> Damn, I hope they find his daddy. That is a big ass house. We've been expecting you, Mr. Fear. Now hold up. Welcome home. Don't nobody expect us. Something suspicious. <laughs> Something suspicious. Low Jesus, man. What the heck? Okay, so. Oh, this is about to be hectic, y'all. So we got Atticus. We got Letitia. Is it Letitia or Latasha? And what is the uncle's name? His name George. George? Oh, low Jesus. This is a whole lot, a whole lot. I mean, did y'all see them creatures? All them eyeballs. Ooh. It's no way, you know, they can't see you. You got all them eyeballs. Lovecraft, country, y'all. Lord Jesus, episode one, season one. Your girl just reacted to it for the first time. And, ooh, sundown, y'all, sundown. So, season one, episode one. You guys let your girl know down in the comments and see it through your homegirl's eyes, and we're going to explore more. Let's go.